uh, in this video I'm going to show you uh, how to make sure you config the min tab uh, correctly and uh, uh, some basic uh, uh, way basic configurations uh, to use your mint uh, first uh, uh, once you install the app you do the firmware upgrade uh, after the firmware upgrade you should check uh, the settings uh, let's see couple of things you want to make sure is correct done correctly um, in uh, Bluetooth uh, make sure uh, your mint uh, is connected see this uh, connect and make sure you see uh, this uh, uh, icon I with a circle at the end of that uh, your mint uh, because once you see that that means uh, your firmware is uh, upgraded uh, correctly and uh, you are using this uh, new way uh, to connect your mint if you don't see this uh, uh, small eye icon uh, that means uh, you are still using the old way to connect the mint and you may have some problems when you are using it um, if you don't see it uh, I would recommend you actually uh, turn off uh, your phone re uh, then turn back your phone um, then you should when you open the mint tab you should see a uh, a message pop up let you to pair the your mint and your phone you just press OK All right then the next thing to check is the notifications uh, then you look at the notifications look for mint mint app is here so make sure uh, you allow notifications so this will send you a, a message when you uh, lose your mint uh, so it's very important to turn it that on. Um, then, um, okay, so that's notifications. Then you go all the way back, all the way down. So you should see um, Mint app. Oh, okay, right here. So uh, you click it. So make sure uh, the location is always on. So this will. Uh, basically record the lost location if you lose your mint um, make sure uh, the photo is on so that you can use mint to, to uh, control your camera uh, to take your phone to uh, to uh, to take a picture so camera is on photos on uh, Bluetooth shares are on notification on and this is very important make sure this uh, background app refresh make sure this is on uh, because otherwise uh, 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 iPhone may actually kill the mint app once the app is killed in the background then uh, you, you cannot get those uh, 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 notifications uh, uh, the, uh, uh, when you lose the mint uh, you cannot uh, uh, you cannot uh, get uh, uh, the warning anymore okay so those are the things in settings to make sure uh, done correctly um, and we turn, turn on the mint tab so the basic usage is very simple when you cannot find your mint uh, you look at you turn on the app look at this icon so when your icon is in color that means uh, it's connected and uh, the distance between uh, the head icon to the uh, mint icon is kind of like indicate the, the distance uh, when this is in color, uh, you can press it, and your mint should uh, uh, the LED light should flash, and the uh, the arm should ring. Um, press this one more time, it will stop. Okay. Uh, when you cannot find your phone, uh, same thing. You can press the the mint button. Your phone will ring. So it will keep ringing when you press the button. Keep pressing the button. Then it will stop when you release the uh, pressing the button. So very simple. Um, and the the home page is very simple, right? Uh, over here uh, you can uh, this is the map. It's basically showing the location. Um, then over here this is the menu, right? Uh, in the menu you should see you can config each individual mint uh, you can also do some uh, uh, basic configuration for the app like for example if 
I press settings. So here is the safe zone setting. Uh, what this does is uh, when you're at home or office or some other locations, uh, uh, you don't want to Mint give you a warning because it's a safe place. Uh, so you can disable the Mint alarm just uh, you know, by switch this to on. So disable the Mint alarm. And you can add locations. At this moment, we only support Wi-Fi to identify the location. In the uh, future release, uh, we are going to add the GPLS location as well. So for example, home. So I'm just uh, add my Wi-Fi. So as long as uh, I mean my Wi-Fi zone, uh, Mint is not going to uh, alarm, uh, give alarm. And then over here, there are some uh, um, uh, FAQs, uh, like uh, for example, how to change the battery. It shows you how to change the battery, um, and uh, uh, this shows you how to uh, use the Mint app on Mac so that you can actually uh, use Mint to, to as a uh, slide clicker to control your PowerPoint or a Keynote slide. All right, um, back here. And uh, we also have uh, uh, the link in the app. You can actually buy more mint uh, or buy batteries. So this will bring you to the uh, our web store so that you can buy additional mint or buy the replacement batteries. All right. Um, then over here, this is the uh, to configure each individual mint. Um, so click the. Uh, the ring button, it will ring your mint. Uh, then if you click this. Uh, so uh, first uh, you can config, if you want to change the icon or uh, change the name, you can actually over here, you can change the name. Uh, you can actually choose the, uh, some pictures or take a photo, you know, so that you can help you recognize your mint. Uh, and also use, you can use the default one. Um, all right, and over here, so it allow you to config uh, Mint as a tracker and also as a remote. So if we look at the tracker, uh, so give you the some uh, uh, use scenarios like a key, wallet, uh, purse, uh, looking used to locate your car, uh, used for your keys pads uh, and also you can customize yourself so basically you can either choose those uh, uh, pre-config the uh, scenarios or you can uh, customize itself uh, basically you customize the uh, the phone uh, when you give alarm is a short medium or long alarm uh, the mint alarm and also the sensitivity the sensitivity basically uh, is the uh, time delay between uh, the mint loose connection and the uh, the time we give you a warning? Uh, since the time sometimes Bluetooth may lose a connection, we don't want to give you a warning as soon as uh, you lose the connection because you may actually get back the connection may be uh, re-established uh, uh, in a couple of seconds. So um, the short the uh, high sensitivity means uh, this delay is the uh, uh, 20 second, medium is a 40 second, and the uh, uh, low sensitivity is the uh, uh, 60 second. Um, okay, for example, if you switch to car, um, so this then means is used to kind of like uh, help you to locate uh, your parking uh, location. So that's why the uh, phone alarm is off, mint alarm is off, the sensitivity is high. So that means when you leave your car, uh, we are not going to give you a warning. Uh, we just uh, record the, the car parking location. Right, okay, let's switch back to key. Um, then for remote, um, so Mint can be used as a remote to control the music uh, or the, uh, the, the camera. So for example, I'm using this uh, uh, the default, uh, this is uh, the long price, uh, means uh, phone alarm. Uh, um, and if I switch to uh, 
shutter. So this shows uh, all kind of like uh, apps uh, mint support uh, to take a photo. Um, uh, and you can look at here, so the short uh, click is take a picture. And uh, uh, this, uh, uh, if you keep pressing it, it will do a bust shot. Right, so let's uh, let's give it a try. Okay, so you see, okay. I take a picture, right? Then if I keep pressing it, you go, oh, it shot like fifteen pictures, right? Uh, so th this function is very useful if you want to um, take a selfie shot, like you jump up, then be before you jump up, you press it, keep pressing it, and then you jump, then you get all those uh, um, pictures, you can uh, pick one, uh, you know, at the highest point. right? Okay, so uh, uh, if you switch to the music, uh, this is the another existing uh, profile. So now you see the uh, single click is to play and pause. Uh, then double is to the click twice is to the next uh, um, song. Um, and uh, uh, if you keep pressing it, now it's defined as a volume up. Uh, so just the uh, your example, if I see, okay, this, uh, I'm testing this talk from Stanford. So San Francisco, you, LA. You can New use this too. Tokyo. See? Half dozen and most. Right. Sorry if I. You can control the, uh, pretty much all of the uh, apps uh, on the phone. Okay, just want to make sure uh, some people complaints uh, uh, like uh, this uh, long price uh, for alarm sometimes doesn't work. That's because you actually uh, switch to your remote to other profile. Then uh, this uh, long price is defined by defined to other things like this, this one uh, is a volume up, right? Um, so if you want to keep using long price to find your phone, uh, you you can define that in the uh, uh, customize. I, actually, our default setting is a uh, uh, long price uh, is uh, to find your phone. Um, so if you when you switch to the other profile, you just want to make sure you switch it back. Um, all right, then uh, what else? This disconnect is uh, you you can disconnect your mint, uh, you can remove it, um, and uh, when you lo uh, lost your mint, uh, you can also uh, report lost. Uh, that only shows up when the connection, when you, uh, when you lose the connection. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, and also you can uh, uh, register, uh, so when you uh, lose your mint, uh, you can actually report then the whole community of mint users. Whoever has a mint app can actually help you to locate uh, your mint, uh, although they, they don't really know, you, you know, they, um, they are going to lose, they are, gonna, they are not going to see any message, but only you uh, will see the message. Okay, uh, then that's about it. Uh, I hope uh, you really enjoyed Mint. Uh, if you have any, any questions, uh, you can actually write an email to support at slidetech.com. Uh, Thank you.